Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick video of the day. And today's video is about a Teams error that my client and I came across last week when I was trying to set up some new Teams for her. And the, um, the error is the specific list is invalid. Now we got this error when we were in Teams, made a team, and then went to the files area and it threw up this error. And then I started looking at the other Teams that they had and they had the same um, error that this specific list is invalid. And I thought it was very strange. Those teams were created last year. So I was like, well, I don't know what the problem is. And I did a few troubleshooting, looked on Google, couldn't find anything. And finally, I was like, you know what? Let's just call Microsoft. It's their error. They should be able to fix it. And luckily, I got the right technician. She was awesome. And we went through two or three different calls together. But I could tell that she was really invested in the error because she didn't give up. And that was beautiful. But the first call that we did, she took, you know, she had to do the usual things, log out and check the permissions and stuff like that. And um, we did do some removal of the permissions and um, made a new, made a new team. And it always kept doing this. So then in the second call, she had us do a download of some teams configurations in the back end. We had to go into one of the the keyboard shortcuts to get into the console of Teams, which by the way, was kind of cool to see. And we went in there and got some downloads for her and uh, we had to send them over to their team to look at it because there was no quick fix. That was her second call with me. And then today she called and said, let's do a couple more things. And so she had me log into Edge and into Chrome at the same time. So we were dueling browsers right there. And then this is where I'm going to go into the screen share to show you what we did. And it fixed it. Wild. I can't believe it. But <laughs> that's what it is. But I don't know. Uh, you know how these browsers are. They're always like trying to compete. And I think they're actually kind of talking to each other a lot in the back. But I'm going to go ahead and share the screen here and show you how this all works out. One sec. Okay. So here is that error that you get in the Teams when it's not happy and it's showing you that it's invalid. And then I'm going to go down to edge down here now in the settings with edge you have to go just to edge in general come up to the three dots and then go down to settings and this is the page that comes up and then you come down to cookies and site permissions manage and delete you're not deleting anything just click on it and then over here is block third-party cookies now this needs to be disabled in chrome okay or sorry edge this needs to be disabled, which mine was, and uh, the client's also was disabled, by the way. It was the Chrome that caused the problem. So I'm going to scoot over here and come down to Chrome real quick. In Chrome, you can go to the same area, the three dots at the top, and go down to settings over here, and then you're going to end up on this page, and go to privacy and security, and down here to third-party cookies. And then over here, you can either have allow third-party cookies, which a lot of people don't want because it's kind of the everything cookie barrel. But um, block third-party cookies is what my browser has, and I don't have that issue. So this might be what you want to select. But she had block third-party cookies, and that is what caused that error, believe it or not. And it crossed over to Edge somehow because we had tried it in Edge too, and we still got the same thing. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't know why it would do that. And the Microsoft tech didn't go into specific reasons why. She just kind of said that is what should do it. And we did that. Um, and that was kind of it to fix that error. So I'm not promising this is going to work for you. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to stop the share. I'm not going to promise that that works for you, but that's what we did to fix it. And miraculously, it worked. So we could create new teams and the files worked and we could sync all the data for the client, and I was thrilled. And hope that works for you. So if you need my help, you can go to callthatgirl.biz. That's my website. And you can fill out the form at the bottom or uh, schedule an appointment. And uh, you can call me also at 612-865-4475. Or you can email me, lisa, at callthatgirl.biz. Hope that helped. See you guys later. Bye-bye.